Hey, what's going on? This is Tony with SC Creative Farmer. Today I thought I might try to uh, cook some rib. I'm gonna do some pork ribs and some beef ribs. If you're not familiar with the old Ryan cooker smoker, there's no doubt if you were to try some meat off of this thing, it would uh, it would put you in in this in this guy's corner. Everybody that's tried it. Uh, has just been amazed with number one how quickly things cook number two how juicy and how flavorful uh, anyways hang around and I'll show you how to cook on this thing and uh, I think there's a good chance you'll wind up and go out and buy you one for everybody that's uh, not familiar with an Orion cooker and I'll show you how it's spilled so you'll know where you'll go look to find you one but uh, anyway, for those that, that aren't familiar with it, this is the Orion smoker cooker. And it's kind of like the old timey trash can cooker. You know, years ago before somebody wised up and just built one of these. But uh, basically on the inside, you got a drip pan. Uh, I always line mine with aluminum. Helps with the cleanup afterwards. Uh, it leaves like a half inch, three quarter inch gap around it between the drip pan and the inside of the cooker. And you can uh, put you know, whatever flavor wood chips you want. Uh, I was originally just doing pork today. And so I picked applewood. So I'll have my pork ribs with uh, the applewood. And I'll also put some apple juice you know, you can put water, you can pour beer, you can pour wine, whatever you want to in that drip pan, or you can go with, with nothing. Uh, either way is fine. Uh, I like to experiment and, you know, just try different things. But basically all you do is you line the whole outside of this cooker with charcoal. And then you put charcoal in the top of the lid. Uh, and this thing's, uh, you, it's got, you can put three racks in it. So, you know, you could stack whatever, three levels of whatever meat you want. Or it's got these little round things here and there's uh, hangers that stick in that. And that's what you actually hang your ribs on. And you, that's something uh, y'all will get to see here in a little bit. And of course I will put a rack in the bottom just in case my ribs fall because man these things get so tender it's not uncommon for the ribs to uh just let loose and, and fall down so you just you have to be careful this stuff will i mean it's amazing how fast and how good this thing cooks but anyway hang with me i'm on fixing to go into the house i will uh prepare my ribs i want to get the seasoning on them and let them you know set for a little bit and kind of soak that seasoning up uh, oh yeah i forgot i'm also doing chicken quarters yeah i forgot about that so i've got to inject my chicken quarters and then season them up so yeah this is gonna be fun all right we're gonna get our pork ribs prepared uh, we got probably don't need as long as what i have before we start cooking because we have somebody joining us today and he's bringing some uh, uh, beef ribs so but i'm gonna go ahead and just get these things prepared i'm trying to get a lot of stuff done before he gets here so what i'm gonna do is since i'm cooking chicken also in the orion uh, i don't have the depth to hang the whole rack so what i'll do is i will cut this thing in half And the other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is come down to about the second rib. I'm going to cut a, a slit in it. That slit is what the rack's going to hang on inside of the cooker. All right. Let's get these things prepared. You know, every time I cook something, I change it up. Uh, don't know that I've ever used mustard. Can't say I have or I haven't. But I think I'm gonna use a little mustard as a binder on this. 
rub it all over your... I don't know how mustard would taste on, on beef. I guess it would be okay. I don't know. What I'm going to do is just cut these things with a little bit of mustard. Then, I've got um, something called Carolina Dirt Barbecue Rub. Never used it before, but and I like to experiment and try some things. I'm just going to cook this thing up. do it. All right, we got our ribs seasoned and put in the refrigerator, so now we're going to go ahead and get our chicken quarters prepared. Um, we're using Tony Sachery's, Sachery's uh, Creole butter, injection marinade. Um, we use all different kinds. Um, so happened this is all store had so this is what we went with. What I'm gonna do is take and uh, inject this chicken. With this marinade. I like to work that injection around I'll get this marinade all throughout this meat. And then for me, you know, the best thing I have found out is to do this and then let your meat sit for a while. And it's just gonna soak up all the flavor. So uh, it ain't gonna hurt a thing to to me it just tastes better than just injecting it and then go straight out to the cook. stays in and just keep leaking out. But that's all good. Then of course every time we, we do chicken like this we use the Lowry seasoned salt. I like this thing. 
food is with this. So everybody has just, you know, little different ways of doing things. I don't know anybody does it exactly the same, but you know, that's one good thing about or working with other people or watching videos is, you know, you see something and you might think, eh, that sounds like an easier way or a better idea or whatever. So, you know, it's always good to experiment and play around with other people's ideas. I know a lot of things I look at with recipes, <clears throat> about everybody that comments is like, well, I replaced this with this and uh, my family loved it. So, you know, you can always change up recipes and try something different, but I can promise you, you do the Anything in this old Ryan cooker, it's going to be the best you ever put in your mouth. Oh, I know it's probably going to hurt some of these guys' feelings that, uh, that, uh, you know, <clears throat> been cooking for years, these pit master barbecuers and all this, but man, they done brought perfectionism <laughs> to the backyard cooker now. So, anyway, we're going to, I'm going to take these, I'm going to put them in a bowl and Cover them, put them in the refrigerator, and just let them wait to go on to the O'Brien. All right, we got our beef ribs here, and I, I wasn't aware at the time, but these ribs are so narrow, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hang them on my hangers. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put them on the on the grill, on the screen, you know, uh, and let them cook with the chicken, and they'll be fine. But I need to get them seasoned up, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this Dale seasoning to uh, just as a binder to get them wet. It'll add some flavor. Probably not much unless I was to let them, you know, soak in, marinate in it for a little while. But anyway, I'll get them with some Dale going. That'll add a little bit. discussion on what to use on these uh, I think we're going to go with uh, something called speedy rub I don't know if anybody's heard of it I never had but I'm anxious to see how this stuff tastes Well, we got our ribs 
our beef ribs. We've already got our pork ribs and our chicken prepared and in the refrigerator setting and soaking up all them good flavors. So now we're going on. We'll put these in the refrigerator, or we might just leave these sitting out. It's usually a lot better with beef. You can leave it out uh, versus chicken and pork. But uh, anyway, we're going to let these things soak up some of them good flavors and then we're going to go call them on the old rind. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pour my apple juice into my drip pan. What I always do is I try not to let my meat touch the side. I know the insides of these things look like they're nasty, but they have been scrubbed. I think they just tarnish. I've had this thing for years, so. Here go the beef ribs. Up. And the good thing about this cooker is you know, a lot of times if you use lighter fluid grilling, you uh, have that taste of this. But the good thing about this grill is your meat's on the inside and you're hitting it from the outside. So this doesn't affect the flavor one bit. I reckon if you like the taste of this, you can squirt some on the inside if that's what you want. You don't have to worry about, about this lighter fluid, fluid flavor. That's it. I'll have to pop her open and see what we got. All right, an hour and a half.
chicken is kind of falling apart. Smells so good. I'm gonna have to try a little piece. Oh, oh, oh. I just wanted to try that chicken. It was right on top. It is on the money. 